And instead of going to the gas station, get coffee and cigarettes, she fully moved and left my brother by himself. And when that happened, he was already sick at the time, but that was when his health just took a turn for the absolute worst and it ended up. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing today? I hope that your day is going fine. If not, I hope tomorrow gets better. I want to take this time out and say thank you to everyone who's tuning in to the videos. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I ask that you go ahead and do so and make sure to toggle that notification bell to stay current with all the videos that we're posting. Now, when I was growing up, I was always taught, keep your word. It don't matter what you're doing. It don't matter what's going on. If you give your word, keep your word. And if you can't keep your word, make contact with that person and say, hey, this is going on because word is bond. Just check this video out. So my brother who passed away, his wife left him when he was like deathly sick. And the way that she left him is just like inexcusable. So my brother who was partially blind at the time and his wife were at home at their house. And she said, hey, I'm gonna go to Sheets, the gas station down the road to buy coffee and cigarettes. I'll be right back. So she leaves and she leaves my brother who needs care 24 seven, leaves him alone for hours and hours. He tried calling her over and over and over again, and it was radio silence. So him and my nephew wake up the next morning, and mind you, his nephew is like a grown adult. They go on Facebook, and it literally says, as soon as they open the app, I'm not gonna say her name, first name, last name, move to Virginia Beach, Virginia. And we're from Morgantown, West Virginia, and that's like six and a half hours away. So she literally just packed up all of her stuff in the car, I guess, at some point, I don't know. And instead of going to the gas station and get coffee and cigarettes, she fully moved and left my brother by himself. And when that happened, he was already sick at the time, but that was when his health just took a turn for the absolute worst and it ended up killing him. Horrible. This horrible. Before I go any further, drop your comments in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Maybe you never experienced a situation like this in life, but I have. Yeah, I have. And, and, and this is horrible. Like, what type of person are you? You're in a relationship with somebody and their health declines, and you just decide, I can't take this no more, so I'm going to pipe out. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what mind state people could be in to do this type of thing. I believe that a lot of people are selfish when it comes to this, but I had a cousin, an older cousin. Matter of fact, she was my mom's first cousin. I adored this lady. I, I really, I really, she, she inspired me because she taught me a lot of life lessons. And a lot of people thought she was mean, which she probably was to them. But to me, she was the sweetest person on earth. I, I had a soft spot in her heart. She, she taught me so much and I looked up to her. And I remember just growing up under her. I just remember it. I, I, I was close to her. And uh, she was single for my most of my life. And once I got into probably like middle school, high school, she got married. And she got married to this guy. And I, I always, I didn't really like him because I thought the dude was weird. He looked weird. He looked... <laughs> He was an ugly guy. <laughs> he was an ugly guy. And, and, and look, I, I, he looked weird to me. But uh, she married this guy. And her, her stance with me never changed. She stayed the same to me. She always was the same person I always knew. But so be it, life happened. And she had a stroke. 
and she couldn't walk. She was bedridden. You know, I, I just remember this, man, and I don't know why I'm going here, but this is where this video is taking me, so uh, bear with me. Uh, I, and I, I would go and visit her, but this guy left her. When she had that stroke, he left her. That pissed me off. Like, at the time, honestly, though, I didn't really know what was going on because my mind couldn't really process all of that. But he left her. He didn't stay there for the long haul. He didn't stay there to make sure she was good. He left. Like, my whole life, this woman was single. Took care of her kids. Took care of her grandkids. Got married to this hammer She gets sick to where she can't perform daily life activities and he left her. You a sucker. I don't understand. If you say you love somebody and the vows say, if you, if you go by the vows that people say in the marriage, Better or worse, sickness and health, richer or poor, however it goes. I'm just paraphrasing. I took those vows, but it's been a long time, but I still stick by them. And just hearing this woman talk about the things her brother went through, that's low. That's low. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you know you're not the type of person who could take stress. You know you're not the type of person who say, hey, I'm going to be out if you get down. I think there's some personal self-evaluation you need to go through with this. Because obviously he had problems. And obviously this woman had problems. She piped out. She said, I'm going to go to the store and get some cigarettes. And she never returned. Imagine what that guy went through. I mean, you really don't have to because the sister told it. She said his health went dramatically down after that, and he actually left this earth. You got to be low down to do that. If you know that you can't be there in that time or if you can't be supportive of if a person falls, you got to talk about that type of stuff. You, you got to talk about it. You got to be prepared for it. And in my mind, I'm like, what, what was she really there for? You know, I don't know, man. This sucks. This sucks. You don't leave a person when they're down. That's like kicking a person when they're down. You don't do that. If you don't think that you can see that far ahead in life, you need to do some self-evaluation. You really need to examine yourself and say, if this person goes down, could I handle it? Gosh, you never know. It, it could happen. It's life. And I know people who've been in relationships with people and their significant other was down and they were there. They went through it with them. just ticks me off man I just wish that people would really love people in these days and times and it seemed like it's, it's so far off it seemed like that concept of treating people how you want to be treated is out of the window I'm an 80's baby I was taught keep your word if you can't keep your word have a conversation she could have at least did that. But she left. Until the next time, man. Drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Peace.